Hi, it's Andy Petronic, and we're at the end of the Spring Whole Life Challenge. You know, I was thinking about my learnings this time, and for me, being willing to engage repeatedly, six on, six off, six on, my life looks very similar between the on and off patterns. I'm just a little bit more accountable when I'm on. And for me, that's good because it means I continue to make progress forward. So congratulations for taking part and for being willing to step up and step in and, and be in the game. And I invite you to come back in July. Uh, I'll be here and um, as will all of our Whole Life Challenge staff and um, hope you'll join us. See you then, good job. Hey guys, we got uh, Jenna and Uzi here. Uh, so April 2018 challenge, it's in the books. Um, I just wanted to you know, let you know the reason that I play the challenge every single time is because it gives me the opportunity to press the reset button and put me back into a place where I'm putting the focus back on myself. And by playing every single time, um, I really achieve that. Hey guys, John Gilson here from Whole Life Challenge. I do a lot of the marketing and copywriting for the company. Uh, a lot of things you see on the website and I work here, of course, with the fantastic team that you meet and play beside. I wanted to say congratulations on finishing the Spring Challenge. This is the first time that we've had a six-week challenge uh, backed with only a six-week break in between challenges. So if you joined us for January and again here in the Spring, you're experiencing for the first time what it's like to play the game, take a break, a uh, short break, and then play the game again. I think the thing that I got most out of this challenge was the understanding that that constant practice with that, that short break and these, these concentrated periods of focusing on my health and my well-being has really uh, made me understand that these need to be a constant part of my life, that this isn't something that I'm just going to uh, do for six weeks and then abandon and forget about. The thing that I concentrated on the most here was nutrition. Uh, I saw some good results from that. I hope that you had a successful spring challenge and that you got what you were looking for. I want you to know how much I appreciate you being here and uh, I hope that you'll join us again for the summer challenge and we'll see you soon. Thanks guys. Hi, my name is Mark and I work with the marketing team here at the Whole Life Challenge. I just wanted to sincerely congratulate you on making it through a six-week challenge. I hope you learned something about yourself and had a great time doing it. Hey everyone, I'm Nikki. This is Kirby. I took my fitness to the next level this challenge and joined a gym. Hi, this is Becca. And this challenge, I worked on the idea that better is better than perfect. Hi everybody, this is Winslow from Player Support. Thanks for all the great conversations we got to have and I'm excited to have them again next time. See you then. Hello everyone, my name is Kim Detweiler Burton and I'm part of the Whole Life Challenge team. I handle the public relations. I wanna thank everyone for joining us on this journey and also congratulate you for finishing. Hope you have a great day and also live whole. Hi friends, Lauren here from Customer Service. Just wanted to say, great job, you did it. I know it's hard, trust me, but I bet you feel awesome. Have a great summer, and for our Southern Hemisphere friends, have a great winter, and we'll see you in July. Hello everyone, I am Michael Stanwyck, co-founder of the Whole Life Challenge, and I just wanna say congratulations to everyone who has completed the Spring Whole Life Challenge. So congratulations to everyone who's completed the Spring Whole Life Challenge. We're headed here into summer and I'm really looking forward to feeling healthy and strong and happy and spending a lot of time with the people who matter to me most. But I wanna leave you all with a piece of advice or a reminder that I sometimes have to offer to myself. And that is that everything you've earned and everything that you have gained is the direct result of actions that you have taken every day. It's not because of rules, it's not because of philosophy, it's not because of ideas, it is because of the choices that you made every day to take care of yourself and your life. That's it, and that's what matters. It's not always easy, and it's rarely perfect, but commitment and even imperfect actions will take the day over perfect ideas anytime. So congratulations to you, and we'll see you next time.